gentlemen. So I'll tell you the topic I'm gonna talk about is basically the main aspect that killed Death Run, and it's gotta be the speed. Like, let's be real. Once the speed started getting cranked in the servers, it became the standard. And then once that became the standard, like people didn't want to play with anything else. And then that caused the chain reaction of people turning this from Death Run into Sweat Run, because then nobody wants to complete the map normally. Everyone just wanted to complete the map as fast as they possibly could. And the game just didn't become what it was meant to be, you know? The activator just didn't want to act, and if you did act, you would get massively butthurt. And then that just caused the meta of people just completing the map as fast as they possibly could, instead of um, actually doing their jobs as acting and making the point of Death Run is to stop the jumpers from completing the map. The only way this can be fixed is if people start joining Raid, because Raid was probably the only server that was like the last one that was like actually normal and what death one was meant to be and then everything kind of just got screwed up when text death one came into play wait is there one ahead by this much damn hmm so it looks like that secret needs to be one shot gentlemen but yeah like i don't see it going back unless because like i'm gonna be keeping the buck i'm kind of the only influencer for death one at this moment like it's kind of a weird position to be in because I know I can definitely have some sort of like push to like make people go to a certain server if I really really wanted it to be but the one thing about me is that like there's like this doubt in the back of my head that'll just like backfire and people just be back to the server because what the server does really well is it always keeps you engaged like that's the one thing that servers back then lacked in like once you were dead you were just dead like you just had to spectate and it was mad boring and people didn't want to see that people leave the game but what this does is like nowadays people want to always feel like they're like doing something you know so oh and he's in the void but yeah so this server you have like a shop you can buy lives you can um basically there's a constant respawn there's always something to spectate there's always something that's keeping your attention you know but like if i'm gonna just keep it a buck with a raid like they had it really down to what was essential to a server but they didn't have you like always doing something you know there wasn't a live you can buy once you're dead you're dead the rounds just kind of went like rounds the activator tried really hard and that deterred people but that was the point of the game like people forgot what this what the like what why this was created you know so then that created like a, a negative spiral loop and this is where we are today gentlemen now this one's become a sweat fest the speed is ridiculously high the activators do not do their job and now it's just become who can complete the map the fastest not the activator actually stopping the players because then like you've definitely seen what it, what happens when people act like they blow up on the, the activator they get really triggered like even though it doesn't matter people still care about that like people still have a reaction so that's why they don't do it so i don't know like let me know what we can do to fix this like i really I, I would want if any server to pop off raid but like i made a genuine effort to get that server popping off like I made two thick videos, and then in the video, I put a huge shout out to Raid. I made like 15 videos in Raid, and like it just still didn't make the population pop off. Like, yes, I could have, I should be doing like daily uploads and stuff, but I don't know if that would be enough. Like, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, because I'm kind of like lost in the sauce of what to do, to do now. Like, the only two servers that are popular is CM and Z Sever, and I mean, SR Speedrun's also there, but that's just a speedrun server, so... Let me know, let me know what the... Le solution B. Alright, let's see what we got. Also, I thought I knew how to unlock the secret, and apparently I don't. Like, I saw in Wizards tutorial, you just shoot the tree right there. Are you serious? Oh, well, secret, not coming. So now it's just gonna be a strafe sweat fest of who can strafe the fastest. While my FPS stutters, and suffers and i know i'm not gonna get first because i'm not getting one two five consistently like look you're gonna see later on my ps is gonna drop to like 90 100 and that little distance matters because with these people they don't they really do not mess up is kegru here still yeah kegru is here sesh is here reaper is here those guys are really consistent so this is gonna be very rough i will say keeping it in a buck with the peeps all right like the, i already feel their characters inside your boy's body. Take that into context, because that sounded mega sus, but yeah, like, look at this. All right, here's the part where I, I'd always lose traction. Like, I'm in a lead, you know, somewhat. 
And then my pants are gonna go down the sugar. Come on. Alright. The last stretch. Oh my god, this is so close. Whew. Ha. Come on. No way. I'll take a third. I'll take a third with these. Look at that, GD. Yeah, this guy's getting demolished. GG, boys. Geguru wins. Prediction 100. That secret needs to be active. I don't know how to do it, though. It says you just shoot the damn tree, but I'm pretty sure there's two versions of this map. Can I clutch it up once? Can I get a solid bounce? Please. Come on. Oh, nice, nice, nice. All right, all right. Oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's. Man. No way, bro. What? How am I not getting bounced by this thing? Oh, yes. Come on. No, no, no. Oh, almost didn't make it. Don't act your party mode. Come on. I'm not fucking with this song. Yes! I made it first! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! No way! What? Oh, okay. I was gonna say. Alright, I don't think the activator is near me. And if he is, this is GG. Come on. Come on. Give me first place. Give me first place once. Give me first place once. Yes. The hallway. The golden road. The silk road is upon us, gentlemen. Come on. Did I make it first for once? Did I make it first for once? Yes! 65.9! Shit. Alright, you're getting dumped on a bounce room, kiddo. Who that? Alright, GG gentlemen. If I jump to his side, will I get put right next to him? Will he notice? No, he does not. <sighs> wow, one kill. We will take one kill over zero. But yeah, I hope you really got the point across. Let's uh, fix Death Run, see what's up with it. Also, boys, another point I forgot to mention that also my bad for being a uh, way uh, thick transition. So, with the speed be going much higher, here's the humongous problem that comes into play, which is another reason why this game isn't where it should be. So, if the speed becomes higher, let's say the speed goes from, what is now, from 200 to 230. What that does is that makes the gap from lower players, yes, they can have a chance to be playing the game now, but the people who have been already playing the game and are used to it, they have a much greater advantage and that creates an even higher skill gap for people who, who people want to try to complete the map first you know so that creates an even bigger problem so if the speed goes down to like not 170 which what it was the og og i would say like 190 to 200 would probably be the good medium because once the speed gets to where it is right now like z server has you can do some ridiculous cuts and this just this little bit of a speed difference and what it, what it takes to skip like a good portion of a, like a map like I, I don't know how to put it exactly into words but you guys definitely know what i'm talking about like let's say if i had 190 speed i could only you know get from here to here but now with 200 speed i can get from here to there like you know what i mean like that that type of skipping happens so that's another problem that this ridiculous speed is causing and which is why people who want to get into the game can't because people are just sweating way too hard, you know? So that is another point I wanted to uh, address. So back to the commentary, mon dieu. So you people might be asking, how can we legitimately fix this problem? So here's the plan I got. Make sure to join the Discord so you'll know when I'm actually popping off in there. Or if you just want to get people to play, you know, just Put a message in the Discord, and boom, people will hop on, I guarantee you. But just reach out. Because guys, I'm not going to lie, this isn't something that I can just by myself do. I need the community to have my back in this, you know? I can't just be solo riding, having the Atlas on my back, so. Also, let me know what you guys believe makes the server good. Like, what are the components? Give me at least 
three to five if you can like that, that's just like to make more sense of it but give me a few components of what makes a good server like what like the admins the speed the shop like if there needs to be a shop like let me know please i need because I, I my ideas don't necessarily translate oh shit my guy what is that all right but yeah please let me know in the comments below it's really really essential that y'all participate i really appreciate if you did because we do still have a chance to bring this community back to the root, back to what it's supposed to be. So, yeah, please, gentlemen, if you would uh, take a chance, help a lad out. And I'll catch y'all in the next one, baby.